Oh man! <laughs> Today we are heading out for a full blown out round of redemption. We got good news because the boat is working great, but we didn't catch any fish on the last trip. Well, we did catch one fish, but we let him go, and he told all his friends not to bite the hook. We shouldn't have let him go. He was supposed to be our good karma fish, and here we are about to slay it. We got our spear guns, we got some fishing poles. I think we're gonna try to get some yellowtail, swim on the reef, show you some coral heads, and get a million views. The heck is that? What's that? <laughs> I don't know. What was that? Was like, what the heck? That was so kind of kind of creepy. And so it begins another fishing adventure. All right, let's see if the engine turns on. Moment of tooth. What is that? <laughs> it's making some funny noises. Well, you know, you think you fixed all the problems, and then it, and then a new problem pops up. At least a weird noise once in a while isn't like the end of the world, but we'll worry about that later. <laughs> Let's tie off and go fishing. Yeehaw! Oh, we don't have a knife. Well, that didn't take long at all. Already forgot something. How to do a U-turn. I done forgot the husk knife. The ultimate bait cutter. This thing is like an, a battle axe. My oh my, what a beautiful boat. Look at this bad boy. What a beautiful knife. <laughs> what a beautiful knife. Probably one of the sexier bait knives around town, even though it's probably too sexy for a bait knife. Yeah, we're gonna need a nice push off, please. There's the John boat. Good times on the John boat. All right, this time we're leaving for real. All right, ready for liftoff. Hold on, before liftoff, I wanna give a quick shout out to this video's sponsor, Husk Knives. They have been a long time supporter and sponsor of this channel. They now have a, what do you call this? Knife holder? I think you guys get the point, but Husk is offering a 70% off discount code to all of my subscribers, which you can find in the video link description below. You've seen me use this knife multiple times in many catch and cooks. You've seen it in the last video. Look at that aggressive cut. Beautiful Japanese inspired, extremely sharp, and it's a thick blade too. So it's gonna slice through everything. I love using it as a steak knife because not only does it cut real well, but it just looks. I mean, when you see a man eating a steak with this, watch out. Clear the room. Is that a potato? Nope, it's a half a potato. Ja! Bop! And my clean blade is now potato starched up, looking real sexy. And this ring hole right here for your finger. Ja! Extremely good tight grip on here. I think it's time we go back to fishing. Look at that blue water, baby. Woo! <laughs> All right, we hooked up in how deep are we? 12 feet of water, crystal clear, 12 feet of water. Who's ready to jump on in? Look how clear that is. <laughs> this is gonna be a good time. We got a mixture of oats, sand, and chum. We're gonna make like a little chum ball. This looks like an oatmeal cookie. It actually smells kind of good in a weird, in a weird way, yeah. And we're just gonna throw that in the water. Oh. There's a bunch of Bermuda Chubs and Sergeant Majors eating that chum. Holy smokes. They devoured that. Okay, so we're gonna put a chum bag out. Don't those oats smell good? They smell like cookies. Just... They do smell good. Ugh, I don't know, I love the smell of oats. We've been chumming for like 30 minutes and I'm about to take the GoPro and stick it in my mask. My GoPro mask thing. And we're gonna jump in. You ready? Yeah, baby. 
Got our kill shot spear gun. Woo! You already know. You already know. Maybe we'll see a big shark. There's a hogfish down there, but he's not that big. There's a shark. Pretty cool down there. There's some shooter snapper down there. Dude, there's like hundreds of snappers, hundreds of them. There's a hogfish right under us. There's an earth shark down there, that's pretty cool. There was a couple big coos, uh, Couple big what? All right, we anchored up in a 95 feet of water. We had our fun swimming around in some clear water, saw some cool fish. But now, got my oats and like Johnny Apple seed, I'm spreading my seed. And hopefully we can get some big flag yellowtail behind the boat. That would be pretty cool. I think that our uh, chum is going right to where we marked all those fish. We want to have our lines ready to go when I do the oat balls because the yellowtail like flock to it. Then we're going to want to be ready. We got a chum bag out. Oh, you're on? Yeah, baby, bring them in. 
Take my seed. Take my seed. Get him up. Get him up. This might be the file fish. Uh, you want me to net him? That looks like a heavy fish. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. Can you, you keep these ones? Um. Oh my god, he's spinning. Yeah, he's spinning. Oh, oh geez. Oh my god, what is that? Hold on, let me look it up real quick. You want to just keep yeah, him in the water? Yeah, yeah, because he's going to die. I saw Deer Beef for dinner do a catch and cook on one of these guys. Okay, let's see, let's see. File fish in Florida Atlantic. Are we sure they're called file fish? Yeah. File, file fish FWC. Cause that's a nice file fish if we can keep them. Common name, scrawled file fish. Blue dots on them. Blue dots on them. Yeah, blue dots. You need a restricted or saltwater products license, SBL. What, does that mean you can't keep them? Yeah, I don't think we can keep them. All right, release them. Yeah, if you hold them up. Wow. He's got some crazy blue colors on him. Oh, let's get him back. He's trying to escape from you. <laughs> Look at these beautiful balls, oatmeal balls. Something's coming, I feel it. There's a big swarm of fish about to come. Something's fucking with me. Oh, I'm on. Yeah, baby. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's a good fish on 10 pound mono. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh my God. This is going to be tough. We're playing with flags here. <laughs> Damn, I might be running too light of tackle for this. But I will say it is pretty fun. Okay, I see him down there. Okay, get that net ready. Oh my gosh, what do we have? Because whatever this is, it's strong. Like, that's a strong fish. Is that a grouper? Trigger. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one. You can keep them, right? Yeah, those are good eating. Fatty! Dang, on the light action, that was a lot of fun. Oh, look at those spots on him. Yeah, he's got really cool spots on him. Those are like electric. That right there is a trigger fish. We're gonna be eating him up. He's a juice ball. They make a really good like baked fish cheese dip. Oh, David's on! Oh! <laughs> Yeah! Them yellowtail hooks getting put to work, baby. You see him? Oh no, okay. You need the net. Ah! Oh, oh man! <laughs> Pulled the hook right out of his mouth. <laughs> I think it was another trigger. Yeah, I think that was another trigger fish too. We've had enough triggers. Although those triggers are fun fights. Yeah! On the yellowtail hook. On your yellowtail hook. Woohoohoo! That's a feisty fish. He's got some spunk to him. Damn. Oh. What do we got down there? Is that a yellowtail? Wait, no. It is. Yeah! Holy. Species acquired. Acquired. He's, he's a fat one. Good enough? Yeah, he's a good sizer. There we go. <laughs> Chunky monkey. Here, you want me to cut that? Yeah. All right, good to know they're here. That's a good sign. If there's one, let's uh, start chumming for him. Oh, I think it just started raining. Oh no. It's probably just a little bit of rain though. Let me get you another yellow tail hook. Do you want a chartreuse or do you want a yellow or a white yellow tail? All right, chartreuse. Bam. They are a beautiful color, I will say. I'll put two here just in case. I, wait a second. No, I might be stuck on the bottom. What the heck? Ha, 
How did it get all the way down? Oh, oh, it came up. I've been robbed. Not only have they taken my bait, but they've taken my dignity. I bet they would eat these yellowtail hooks if you just jigged them around hard enough. Yeah, baby, I'm on. Oh, sh oh baby. Yeah. Whoo, this thing's juicy. <laughs> Dude, there's a whole bunch of fish getting marked right now. Oh no, he's not listening to me. I can't turn him around. Fuck. I let, I gave, I should have hit him harder. Damn it. Oh, I got him out, I got him out. Get him up, get him up. Yeah, baby. Come on. Oh, get out of there. Okay, I'm gonna give him some slack again. Oh, yeah, yeah, I could. Dang, he went right into that rock. I felt him go right into it. Holy smokes, those are big file fish. I feel them, I feel them. Come on. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. He's coming up. Oh, oh look at what happened to him. Yeah. He got, he got ate by a grouper. Maybe that. He was sitting in the grouper's mouth and he just got thrown up. Yeah! Oh my god, a grouper ate him. There's a big grouper down there. Oh, my god. oh shit. Dude. Oh my god. Yeah, you can see the bite marks on him. All right, buddy. Should we send him back down on a hook? He is legal though. I mean, that grouper will probably eat him. All right, he's going in the cooler. Might as well. Another fish in the box. All right, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna swim down there and look for that grouper so I can shoot him. You think we can go down there and find him? Yeah, there's a little bit of a storm coming, but uh, I think we're good. I'm gonna stay right here. Yeah, you could either hop in or just keep an eye on me. If I do black out, it'll be at the surface. Oh, shit. Yeah, get him! Is he coming off the bottom? I'm back in my wetsuit. I was about to hop on in. David over here is hooking up big time. Get him, boy. Damn. Oh, God. That does not look good. He got you on a rock. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to swim over there and take a look. Okay, going in. I'd break them off. Oh yeah, baby. Holy shit. That's a nice fish. Woo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> Almost died for that. Do you see that shark? Holy fuck. 
I thought he was gonna get me. Dude, that was a big freaking shark. Dude, that shark was kind of kind of intense, man. Yeah, I saw that guy. Holy sh**. Those bull sharks, there's some bull sharks down there that are just like nine footers, nine, ten footers. I, I could have shot that black grouper, but I think I would have been t uh, demolished. I don't think it's worth shooting a black off these guys. ready to eat me. Do you see him come, kind of swimming up to me? He's so massive. You know what kind of fish this is? Well, I'm not really sure what kind of fish that is. It does kind of look like a kubera a little bit. Like a kubera and a mangrove snapper and a mutton had all had a threesome. I saw a big black down there. I know. Well, every time I started to get near the bottom, the, the big bull shark started to like zone in on me. They would swim up to me and sh Whoa! That right there is like a, uh, what are those things? Or some kind of fish, maybe? Oh, some kind of fish. See the tails? Crazy, like how many fish, like, get murdered by other fish. Oh, yeah. It's just like uh, constant murdering. Dude, that, this would be an intense ass spot to dive on a tank. It'd be so scary. All those sharks would be like up your ass. I'd say we had quite a successful day, even though the wind is starting to really pick up. So hopefully I don't speak too soon and we get caught in a storm. We got to drive into the sunset. Man, there's a couple of big black grouper down there and some mutton snappers. But I got to say, I was counting like 10 or 12 sharks just like right next to me. And after that first fish that I shot and that shark came right up to me, I'm pretty sure that I would have got swarmed and eaten alive down there. We'll come back. Hopefully it'll be less sharky another day, but look at this fish I shot. Look at that guy. So we got meat on the boat. We're gonna ride back now. And we're gonna cook up some fish. Home sweet home. And we're gonna back the trailer in and pull the boat out of the water because I'm doing some yellowfin tuna fishing in the Cayman Islands in a couple days. So gotta pull them boats. Grab me a couple of fillet knives. Hey buddy, guess what? Oh, he already knows. Elliot says I smell fish. Yeah, you do buddy. We done got some fish finally. You don't have to find a new home after all. Come on bud, let's go. 
I got the fillet knives too. Some paper towels, a bag. All right, the thermos cell is activated. Okay, time to slap the boat on the trailer. I think the trailer is floating. It's like I'm leaving all over again. Yeah. Hey, that's not a bad little stockpile of fish we got there. A lot better than yesterday. <laughs> Spanish grunt, yellowtail snapper, big yellowtail. Trigger fish, you got that trigger right there. And dog, dog tooth snapper. Dog snapper. Or dog snapper, maybe, questionable, probably. A big one if it is. Those knives, maybe questionably sharp. <laughs> the other knife might be sharper than that one. Look at the mouth on that guy. It's looking really delicious. Not too bad. You got most of it. We made it to the kitchen and we got all of our fishes filleted by yours truly David over here and he also separated them so we got our dog snapper, our yellowtail snapper, the trigger fish and the yellowtail snapper so we're gonna see if there's a difference in taste and we're gonna bread them up two ways. David found this fried pork rinds. So it's like a breading with no bread. It's made out of pork. That'll be interesting. And then, of course, classic beer battered. Nice, we got all our meat portioned out. Wait, one more bag. Elliot's getting super excited. And this right here is our beer batter. I'm just gonna add some beer into it. Ooh, that smells heavenly. These pork panko crumbs, they smell just like a like pork rinds. I think it's just crushed up pork rinds. <laughs> You're about to get to eat, buddy. Wow, look at that face. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Come here, bud. I think it's safe to say that he is very satisfied. This probably needs to be a little hotter. All right, we got our production line ready. What should we start with? All right, this is the dog snapper. Let's just do it. Hit it with the flour. Dip it in the egg. What should we do with this one? Should we uh, pork rind it or should we beer batter it? We're gonna pork rind it. All right, there it is. I mean, it looks like a, a fried piece of fish. I have no idea how that's gonna turn out. All right, and then I'm gonna take another piece of dog snapper and we're gonna beer batter it. Same thing, egg, flour, egg, and then in the beer batter. Oh my God. You know, I think it's gonna be hard to beat beer batter because this might just be the most delicious thing ever made. All right, I think that they're ready to be flipped. Oh, baby. Yeah, that looks really good. And it's like the perfect crispy golden brown looking. And that just looks like classic beer battered fluffiness. All right, our dog snapper. Yeah, it's looking crispy. We're gonna put it on some paper towels. Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. Oh. We're gonna let that cool, we're gonna Give it a try, and then in the meantime, we're gonna have a labor-intensive production line of making a big pile of fried food for our own personal satisfaction. We got piles on piles of fish. Look, this is the, the Spanish grunt. I cut it in half. I think the dog snapper is a lot juicier, but it's still really good. It's definitely a, a good bit different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a drier. It's yeah, it's drier. Or the dog snapper was like extra juicy too. We've come to the conclusion that the trigger fish... Tastes like chicken. <laughs> yeah, it tastes <laughs> like chicken. It's got the texture of chicken. It's a firm white meat. No, trigger fish is usually pretty, like real firm like this. Before we cooked it, it was really firm too. Yeah, it was extremely firm fillet. So trigger fish tastes like uh, like chicken. We're about halfway done, and we're almost too tired to finish eating. But I told 
David that no matter how much fish we eat, I always save room for a cookie. Always. Or four or five or six cookies. I've had 12 before too. All right, beer battered, dog snapper versus pork battered. Wow, it looks perfect inside. All right, going down. White, perfectly white, crispy. Wow. Yeah, it tastes like a pork rind. It's good. Yeah. It's different. It is different. I don't really know how I could compare it. I think it's good, but I don't know if I would go out of my way again to buy that. I don't think I would buy it again. All right, now for the beer bettered. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot. It's really good fish though, I will say. Even if you don't like that crust, mm -hmm. I do like the fish. Yeah, the fish is perfect. I almost got eaten by a bull shark for this fish. <laughs> mm. Wow. Are you leaning towards the beer batter? That's mm. really good. Oh no. They're both really good. Wow. This is really good. I can't believe I just ate that whole thing. You know, that was hot. All right. Because the beer batter one soaked up more than the butter. So it yeah. really tastes more buttery. It soaked up a lot of butter, but it's so, it's like, it kind of reminds me a little bit of like funnel cake from a fair, but then it's got the beer batteredness. It's just so delicious. All right, I'm in like starving mode. So I think we're gonna finish making all this fish. Any last words? I'm, I'm exhausted and starving. <laughs> yeah, so. me too. That's where I'm at. I'm like, all right, I'm turning the camera off. Oh, I forgot to push the record button. No, you didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I was going to put you into a panic. We got to do all that again.